At the start of the riots, it was hard to tell who was responsible for what. Especially at night, when you see the mayhem that was going on, it seems to be kind of a free-for-all. But former FBI Special Agent Kyle Loven knew law enforcement would catch up. There was a lot of video of, of these riots. A lot of these investigators were sitting down going through video frame by frame, trying to identify uh, individuals who were involved in the violence. But now that two months have passed, police are getting a clearer picture of the damage and who they think may have caused it. And they've identified a suspect in the destruction of the auto zone across from the third precinct. The so-called umbrella man was caught on video smashing auto zone windows with a sledgehammer during the second night of protests. He hasn't been arrested or charged, but according to the search warrant affidavit, Police identified him as part of the Hells Angels and a known associate of the white supremacist Aryan Cowboys. In your experience, are these typically coordinated efforts from some of these groups? It could be a coordinated effort. I'm, I'm guessing that if it were a coordinated effort, law enforcement would get to the bottom of it. And it also could be just an individual who decided to take it upon himself to go down there. Police blame the suspect for changing the dynamic of peaceful protests into an atmosphere of hostility and tension with a goal to incite violence. They're just looking for a trigger. So far, the ATF and partner agencies have also arrested at least 13 people for arson, including Matthew Rupert, who investigators say traveled from Illinois to riot. We come to riot, boy. This is what we came for and we got it. And Montez Lee of Rochester, who was accused of burning a pawn shop on Lake Street. Video played a critical role in these investigations too. There's never true anonymity, even if you're in a large crowd, because quite frankly, you don't know who else is in the crowd and there's surveillance everywhere. Danny Spiewak, Carol 11 News.